first thing what are we going to cover into this tutorial first we look at the definition that is what is an interface in dbms then we look at what are the different types of interfaces that are there in dbms and finally we will also look at different examples of interfaces all right now first let's look at what is an interface the, an interface is a program that allows user to query the dbms without writing the code in a query language now what do you mean by query basically querying means manipulating the database either by adding the database or deleting some data or updating some data or even viewing the data present in the database so for this purpose an interface is used all right now there are different types of interface that are available let's see we have got around seven interface that are present in dbms all right first one is form based second is menu based third one is graphical user interface fourth one is natural language interface fifth is speech input and output interface seventh is interface with dbm so on so there are total seven of them you don't have to worry thinking that it's a long list and how you are going to remember because they are pretty straightforward and if you remember the example okay if you remember the example it will be very easy for you to remember all the seven of them all right so let's get started with the first one first one is called form based interface now what does that sound like form based interface in what happens is basically there is a form that is presented to the user all right and the user if he wants to enter some data what he do he'll enter all the details in the fields that are available on the form and then submit the form so a new entry will be made into the database or if the user wants to fetch some data the user will fill out some details not all the details on the form but some details and the system will retrieve the rest of the details from the database all right now form based interface are built for naive users now what are naive users naive users are users who don't have much experience with the database and they do only limited number of operations all right so these are called naive users now there are different types of users of database if you want to learn about different types of users and i have made a video on that i'll put the link in the information button above all right now many dbms have form specification languages which help the programmer define such forms now we'll look at an example for form based interface so that you'll remember what is form based interface all right so let's say there is an attendance system in the school all right all the attendance of each students are stored in a dbms at school all right but the teacher has to enter the information about the students attendance so for this purpose teacher will fill out the form of each students detail about the attendance all right maybe the teacher will do it at the end of the month or at the end of the week whatever but the teacher has to fill in the information in the form and then submit it and then new entry will be made into the database all right the other use is let's say you have answered a board exam or your university exam also and you want to find out what is the result so on the result day you go on the website you enter your roll number class or branch whatever the details some details you enter and the rest of the other details now which are the rest of the details about you that is the scores that you have scored in each subject will be presented to you by the database so the form based interface is used either for entering new data or retrieval of the existing data by adding some data all right so this was the example for form based interface now we look at menu based interface now what does menu based interface mean it sounds exactly like it is what it is okay basically there is a menu presented to the user and the user has to make choices that are available in the menu and based on the choices that a user makes he will see either some another menu or the user will see the result all right so user doesn't need to memorize some specific commands or some syntax to write the query language let's say he was using a form he had to enter his name in some specific syntax like first name middle name last name all right but in menu based option he doesn't have to use or remember that format or syntax or commands all right now pull down menus are the most common one that are used in web based user interface and there are also often used in browsing interfaces which allow user to look through the contents of the database in an exploratory or unstructured manner now we'll look at an example so that you'll remember how to remember this all right so let's say you're searching for some item on shopping website let that be amazon flipkart ebay whatever all right now the first thing you're going to do is go to the category menus and select the category in which the item is all right so let's say you're looking for an umbrella or maybe you're looking for a trimmer okay now the trimmer falls in personal care items category all right so you'll go to the personal care category in that personal care category then you'll go to the another menu of brands all right and you'll select one brand of your choice from the menu now after selecting that brand you'll get all the trimmers that are available of that brand and you'll get the list of all the trimmers that are there 
Now you look at for the models and you'll have a menu of models. Then you might select the budget from the menu of budget range to select in which budget you want that trimmer to be. So basically this is what menu based user interface does. It gives the user some options without the user have to remember anything like uh, the syntax or the format of the query. Okay. So this can be either used for like we have seen exploratory purposes that is you don't know what you are looking for. You are just exploring and going through the shopping site. Right. And it can be used to search exactly what you want also. Alright. So this was menu based interface. Now what about graphical user interface? Graphical user interface short form is GUI. It typically displays a schema to the user in diagrammatic form. Alright. Now what do you mean by schema and diagrammatic form? In simple words, whatever you see nowadays on the websites, on your phones, anything, let that be game, let that be YouTube also. Alright. The user then specify a query by manipulating the diagram. So what you do, you change the diagram that is there on the screen. Right. In many cases, GUI utilizes both menus and form. Now you have seen two options of form based and menu based user interface. Now in GUI, it uses both form based as well as menu based. All right. Now we look at an example for graphical user interface. All right. Let's say you're watching this video on YouTube now. Okay. And if you press that subscribe button, either with a finger or a mouse, depending on whether you're watching it on your phone or your computer or your laptop, whatever. Either when you touch that red button of subscribe, okay, it will turn into gray. Now, what does this process sound like? Basically, you're presented with a menu, okay, and you're given an option. When you manipulate the data, that is when you manipulate the image on the GUI, that is graphical user interface, it will change and it will do something that is like it will subscribe to my channel. Similarly, if you hit that like button, it will like the video and add it to your like video list. Okay. Now there are menus also used on YouTube. Like YouTube shows you different videos on different different channels. Okay. So there is a different menu available for you on YouTube. And it also uses form. So if you want to search some video, you can search on YouTube. So it is using form based as well as menu based user interface in GUI. All right. So hence graphical user interface. It will change when you interact with it. Okay. So this is example of graphical user interface. Now let's look at next one that is natural language interface. What does that sound like natural language? Now you and I, we are discussing something or we are reading something. Our natural language is English or whatever your mother tongue that might be. All right. Now natural language interface has its own unique schema, more like the high level conceptual schema. If you want to know what are high level, low level conceptual schema and all these things, I have made a video on that. I'll put the link up there. All right. Now, it also has its own dictionary of important words. Of course, it needs that dictionary. Why? We'll look at an example so you'll understand why it needs that dictionary. Okay. Basically, it generates a query based on the interpretation of the important words that are inputted by the user. And if the interpretation is successful, then it displays the result to the user. Now, what is the example of natural language in this case? Basically, let's say you are searching something on a search engine. Let that be Google. Okay. Now, you want to find out what is the fastest car or which is the fastest car in India? Okay. So you search that in Google. How do you search? You type fastest car in India. Okay. Now what does the natural language interface do? It basically goes through the important words in the search that, you get, that is fastest car in India. These are three important words. Okay. Now why are these three important words? Because you look what you, what, what you search for. What is the fastest car in India? or in the world, whatever. If you search for fastest car in India, it is going to be looking for the fastest car in India. In and the are not important words. Okay. Now it will go in the database of the cars and search for all the cars that are available in India. Okay. First thing to do, it will search for all the cars that are available in India. Then it will check which is the car with the highest speed because what is the important word? Fastest. So it will check for the car with the highest speed among the cars that are available in India. Okay. And finally, it will show you the outcome of the search to the user. So this is natural language interface. There is a dictionary of important words. And when you search something, it will take those important words and try to find a result for you. If it finds a result, it will show you the result. If it doesn't find a result, you say, sorry, no result found. All right. So let's look at the next interface type, which is speech input and output. Now, what does that sound? Okay. Nowadays it has become very common in interface. Okay. The user queries the interface with speech 
and gets an answer or response in speech if the interface understands the query and interprets it. Okay, simple as that. We'll, let's look at an example. Let's say most of you must have used Siri on Apple or OK Google or Alexa or Cortana. Okay, to ask some questions like OK Google, find the value of square root of 729 or Alexa, what is the capital of Nepal? Whatever. You might have looked out for some answers using this speech input and output interface okay and this speech input user interface is basically interpret what your speech input is okay then it processes the data from the database and after successful interpretation answers you back in speech okay so if the query is not understood it will ask you to repeat your query okay so this is what speech input and output is you don't have to worry about remembering them and by hearting them because once you understand the example you will remember each and every interface very easy Alright, now let's look at the next interface. It is called interface for parametric users. Now who are parametric users? Parametric users are users that have a small set of operations that need to be performed and that to repeatedly. Okay, remember parametric users are the ones who have small set of operations that need to be performed repeatedly. Okay, now this makes it important to reduce the amount of keystrokes for each operation. Obviously, if you want to do a job again and again and you want to do only that job, then you need to do it in minimum number of keystrokes. Okay, so the programmers program such interface so that the operation can be performed with single keystroke. Okay, we'll look at an example. Don't worry, we'll look at an example. So we'll remember this also. Okay, let's say there is an ATM machine. Okay, or ATM because ATM is automatic drilling machine. So why say ATM machine machine? Okay, so let's say there is an ATM and the ATM has limited operations. Okay, like to check the balance or to withdraw the money or to change pin of the card. These are the maximum three operations that you do in an ATM. Okay? So as you know, any of these operations which are complex programmatically, okay, they are, these are very complex operations if you think about it programmatically. Okay? But the queries are generated with minimal number of keystrokes. Why? Because they are pre-programmed. Okay? Because the machine has to do only these three things. So the whole program is written in advance and the ATM will do all these operations in very minimum number of keystrokes. Okay? So this is an example for interface or parametric user. Now finally, we'll look at the seventh, which is interface for DBA. Now interface for DBA is very simple. Most database systems contain privileged commands. Okay, that can be used only by DBA staff. Why? Because other users shouldn't misuse or manage the database. Why? Because then there is a security threat. Okay. So these commands include creating accounts, setting up system parameters, granting account authorizations changing the schema and recognizing the storage structures of a database. These are the actions that only a DBA staff member should be able to do, not anyone else. Okay. So this is an interface only built for DBA. So these, there is no example to give for this. Okay. It is very simple and straightforward to understand. Hence, I have not given an example. So these are the seven different types of interface that are present in DBMS. I hope I explained it well. If not, I'm sorry guys. And if you like the video, please share this video, subscribe to my channel. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any queries, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions, please write them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.